All right, guys. So right now we're about to feed my uh, Sturmy Goliath bird eater um, a rat fuzzy. So uh, she is a pretty good size, but she's actually not even close to full grown. She will get a lot bigger than this. Uh, she eats super good. So this is a live feeding. So if you guys do want to see live feedings, make sure to click off that, uh, click off the video so you, uh, no one gets offended. But right now we're about to do this uh, live feeding of this tarantula eating this rat pinky. So. Let's see how it goes. She usually gets it pretty quick, so let's see. Already got it. Pretty much what it's gonna do is she's gonna suck up all those juices. She's pumping all that venom in her and that little uh, rat pinky right there. Putting that rat pinky into basically shock. That's an amazing animal right there. That's a pretty big meal for uh, for uh, her too. So she'll be eating for a while after this, probably about um, three weeks to a month. That's basically it. So now the venom is just doing its work. And it's gonna take a while for uh, her to consume this meal. And you know, it's, it's a, it's, it's just, you know, I get where people come from when they say, say, you know, they have a problem with uh, live feeding, it's cruel and everything, but that's just the way nature works and it's just how it is. So I feel like, you know, it's, it's just basically the circle of life. So that's just my view on it. It's just him having his meal. That's, that's. That, or her having her mail, that's about it. And what she normally does, um, this, this is probably the biggest meal I've fed her so far. What she normally does, she picks it up and stands up holding it. Now this, this one's a little bit bigger. Now I don't know if she's just in like a defensive position because I'm here like with the camera. I've never filmed her before eating, uh, but yeah. Guys, that is all it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you guys did, please like, please subscribe. See you guys next time. Take care. Ah! What is going on, everyone? Just filling up the uh, yellow anaconda's water thing. Uh, water bowl. They have a big water bowl, and I filled up with a gallon. So. Got to use like uh, about three to four more gallons of water and I got to fill up the other bin too. I'll show you guys the yellow anacondas in a second and they're absolutely beautiful. But anyway guys, I'm going to uh, do a little intro. So if you guys aren't new to this channel, go ahead and click subscribe button. Join the reptile family 
And uh, if you do enjoy this video, hit that like button because I love seeing you guys' likes. Leave a comment. Love to see you guys' feedback on things. And uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead, fill this guy's water bowl up and show you guys uh, the beautiful looking yellow anacondas. They're just amazing. All my two yellow anacondas. Sorry for disturbing you guys. <laughs> I was actually, uh, they're actually paired right now and uh, they've been pretty much on top of each other nonstop. Um, I've never actually seen them lock tails before, but they've been just on each other. So that's a super cool thing. Um, dude, they're just beautiful. As you can tell, I'm, I'm kind of upsetting her right now. Um, yeah, but just anacondas are beautiful looking snake. Um, but yeah, I mean, she's about five years old, so she if she doesn't take this year. Uh, this year, then I'll probably give her a year off. So shall we? Till she's about six, six and a half. Um, but I just love pattern, the marking on them, and uh, she's maintaining her weight really well. So open there or something. That's the male back over there. Um. Just a beautiful looking animal. I want to get into the green anacondas, but you know, those things get massive. <laughs> these guys are a little bit smaller, uh, but these guys are actually known to get a little bit more uh, picky. And uh, looks like they got some shed back there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and reach in there. Try to grab that. There we go. Oh, some shed right here. I know, oh. Yep, freaked them out. All right, <laughs> that's enough with the yellow anacondas. And yes, guys, they love their water. <laughs> As you guys can see, they are beautiful.